The beauty of modern day technology is that it brings immense joy to your life and solves real problems. Like, how do you respond to a lot of situations when you don't know how to react? Presenting one app that can solve all life's dilemmas, the Donald Trump soundboard. I'm really rich. So which is why this review of a, a very, very amazing flagship phone, wait, is it? is going to be supplemented with interesting uh, sounds from that app. The Nokia 8 Sirocco review. We reviewed the 7 Plus. You can click on the link here or here somewhere. And we absolutely love that phone. We are tech to believe that at 26,000 rupees, there's no real competition to that phone. And if you're in the market for a mid-premium phone, you must, must, must consider the 7 Plus. And that puts the Nokia 8 in a very curious territory because thanks to the price, which is 5499, don't mind the cashback of 5000 rupees, it literally goes head on with the Google Pixel 2, the Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Apple iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and of course the brand new Huawei P20 Pro, even though that's expensive by literally 10,000 rupees. So what you get is a five and a half inch device with uh, curved edges. Um, the interesting bit here is that the display panel is a OLED display, a plastic OLED display. None of that would have mattered if it would have been a fabulous display, which I don't think it is. Visibility and viewing angles are poorish and it also has a very pronounced blue tinge. The last time we read about a blue tinge was on the Pixel 2 display, which was eventually fixed, but the Sirocco has a very, very visually blue display. The other curious thing about the Nokia 8 is its shape itself. And unless you have hands that are big like or huge, tremendous, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a slight issue. Um, the design itself has very, very, very sharp curves and edges. They almost bite into the palm of your hand when you're using it. So if at all you decide to buy the Nokia 8 Sirocco, the first thing that you're going to have to invest in is a silicon or some sort of a protective case that will blunt the sharp edges here. It is, however, a striking looking handset because of its odd shape and size looks broad and squarish compared to the rectangular slabs of glass that most other flagships are in this market. And it is relatively easier to use even with one hand despite its width. But one odd hardware choice or decision by HMD Global on the Nokia at Sirocco has to be the process in 2018, where everybody is, you know, basically headlining their flagship phones with Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, Nokia's choice of going with last year's Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor sort of doesn't make sense. Hmm, that's strange. Yeah, Trump agrees. The other hardware decision that doesn't really make sense is uh, the camera resolution. Now, we are not the biggest fans of double-digit megapixel resolutions, upwards of 20. You know what I'm talking about, Oppo, Vivo with their 24, 25 megapixel front-facing cameras. Uh, but the choice of a 5 megapixel front-facing camera, especially when last year's Nokia 8 had a 13 megapixel resolution camera, seems kind of odd. So the image quality, while it's good, 5 megapixels in 2018? Oh, that's not good. The rear camera, however, is a whole different story. 12 megapixel dual lens setup with Zeiss Optics produces one of the best looking images that any phone camera can produce in the flagship segment. The camera for most part produces pictures that are fantastic. Uh, but if you are into low light or night photography, then you will see the HDR acting a little too powerful. Uh, it's a little overbearing, a little too overpowering. Super sharpening happens, especially in terms of night shots. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. After spending some time with the Nokia 8 Sirocco, the only feeling that you're left with is it's beautiful, but Maybe I want something else. There's a Bothy feature that basically fires up the front and the rear camera and shows you both perspectives. That's good. Video quality is good. Though we're not sure it has optical image stabilization, which is not at all good news for video enthusiasts and vloggers who lapped up previous generation Nokia phones in 2018. On the plus sides, in case you're wondering, oh my God, he's got nothing good to say about the Nokia at Sirocco excellent battery life. The fact that Nokia phones come with stock 
Android and the latest security update. So it's running Android 8.1 with the April security update. So overall, let's just sum it up. The Nokia 8 Sirocco is an excellent attempt by HMD Global at creating a really desirable, great looking, superbly engineered running stock Android smartphone or flagship phone in 2018. But it doesn't hit all the right notes and which is why we're not going to recommend it for 55,000 rupees and much lesser than that you could very well get the Samsung Galaxy S8 I know it's last year's flagship but it's still a stupendous phone the Galaxy S9 or S9 plus the Note 8 the iPhone 8 so many other phones that are way better than the Nokia 8 Sirocco. It's a great attempt by Nokia to try and regain some glory in the flagship space, but this is not the product that's going to help them do it. So that's it. This was the Nokia 8 Sirocco review on Tech2. This is Gadgetwala signing out. In case you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel because you are... Incredible people. And... Have to get together. This is so important to me. Because we work very long and very hard it's gonna be a beautiful thing. i'm just losing my mind over the donald trump sambo app check it out it's free it's on android what else do you really need to make fridays bearable <laughs>